Hello. Grumpy Pumpkin here. And I'm having a look in the city of Ballarat at the moment. And what we're going to try and do is capture as many hotels that are still standing and uh, non-existent and uh, remnants of what they used to be. Uh, I think there'll be a, close to a total of about 59 and um, we're just going to do them one by one. We'll do as much of the history on them as we can. Uh, what we're looking at right now is the Craig's Royal Hotel. It was the very first license issued in Ballarat. It um, was issued in 1853 and it was known then as Bass Hotel. Uh, has quite a lot of history attached to it. Uh, in 1855, the Royal Commission into the Eureka Stockade was held here. Um, in 1858, it was bought by Walter Craig who had history on the golf fields. Um, he then obviously changed the name to the Craig's Hotel. In 1867, uh, Royal Prince Albert Victor came to visit and hence they received the royal title. He was the first of many royals that um, came and stayed. Um, in 1954 the building was sold again uh, and it was sold to two Melbourne brothers who happened to be the largest poultry farmers in the world and they paid a princely sum of 76,500 pounds. Uh, the famous residents that have stayed here were uh, to note was Adam Lindsay Gordon, a poet. Uh, he had a deal with Walter Craig at the time to run the stables at the back, and that went ahead. Um, people who stayed here were Dame Nellie Melba, and she apparently gave an impromptu concert from the uh, from the balcony. Uh, Robert Menzies stayed here, Sir Don Bradman, and also Mark Twain. Um, there's a few legends attached to this place. One is that. Um, the turret at the top there was occupied originally by Walter Craig. Now the room's said to be haunted. There's a painting in the gallery downstairs that um, again is also meant to follow you around the room. It's meant to be very haunted. Again, that's just a legend, but that's one of the things we've heard about this place. Um, I'm gonna take a walk across the road to show you quickly some of the changes that were made um, as we come to this corner you'll see this turret well that turret wasn't always there and before we go there I'll just spin around and you can see there there's the royal title that was given to them which is now proudly displayed so, getting back to this corner, this lane we're in is Bath's Lane, and obviously named after the original hotel. All this side of the building was originally the servant quarters, but to keep it in line, they had them demolished and erected another turret to match the one on the other side of the building, and it cost uh, 10,000 pounds at the time to do that. And I, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure what year that happened in. Uh, this hotel has 41 rooms. It has five meeting rooms. It has a restaurant, a gaming license, and it has a cafe. Uh, it's probably the most complete hotel in all of Ballarat. So I'll be moving on next and heading up to the number two license that was given around the same time. Um, I hope you enjoy it, and um, we'll uh, see you soon. Thank you.